Hello everybody, Kane here and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one we're just gonna talk about the Jade Dragon a little bit more since I found out a few things about it. But before that, let's talk about um, a comment on my previous video. So I think this was um, Violet Evergarden. Um, that person pretty much said that, or not said, but pretty much nuanced the entire sentence that the video could be useless as no abilities of the Jade Dragon are broken except for an exalted ability, perhaps this one in particular. However, the people in terms or uh, people in question that I faced or had faced or seen replays of, they don't have access to this exalted ability. Which means even that person could have likely said um, something true and, you know, my comment was pretty much exactly the same to her. It was a, a little bit with sarcasm or so. But if, if you're going to do a comment like that, I mean, you should expect to get what you give, you know. So if, if you make a comment like my friends, you know, told me this, this and this. And the next thing I would say is, can you like tell me this or um, show me that? Or how did they test? Like the answer would be like incredibly different so aside from that i kind of want to apologize to violet evergarden however some of her words probably are true and we're going to talk about that as well so the ability um, in question is likely broken because of the scaling uh in terms of the ability so just like the, uh, I suppose, stalkers, right? The stalkers were broken beyond belief. This particular ability, the poison damage, was scaling from the attack value. So, also have to use another example to make some sense. So, for example, trees of Silvani, right? Uh, the Silvani trees, um, the Dyer and the Zen trees had different stats. So, even behind the scenes, there are some nuances of different stats taking effect. I think at some point in the game, I've changed my enlightenment. And some stats even changed in, in here like a year ago or so. I'm not entirely certain if I remember this correctly. But pretty much every single unit might have some different scalings or percentages or values in their abilities. So that kind of happened with Zen Stalkers. And when Cosmic raised their attack value insanely high, that attack scaling was still in that ability and just broke in this particular um, army unit beyond belief. And then, of course, they fixed it eventually in some patches. So what's happening with the dragons is that we got access to armory materials. We got access to Dragon Awakening and, and all that stuff that came with it. And in terms of like two months, the dragon's HP value raised by like 200 million for me, attack value by like 4 million for me, and the healing that the J dragon is able to do now is literally visible, and that healing is like 30% or so a pop or even more. And that's just one ability. So if you have an uh, rather awakened dragon, and this one does the exact same, you would have two procs of some insane amount of healing, and pretty much, like, your heroes on burst side, if you would have this dragon on burst side, they just wouldn't die. As well as, for example, like, humanoid swordmen, or trees, or, or whatever. But in terms of Azure Dragon, like, Azure Dragon also heals stall side, if you have your dragon on burst, or whatever, it just heals entire map versus a, a j dragon healing a specific place right so that is sort of the difference between them however the healing the j dragon heals like probably five to ten times more than the azure dragon even if it's not visible in the fight which likely again could be broken because this value of hp scales by the attack or the hp of the dragon and thus uh kind of you know making that dragon uh just 
incredibly bonkers. Now, there were people who used this dragon um, in terms of the Lich race. They used it because they didn't want the healing to actually be noticed. And by noticed, I mean if a lot more people would have noticed, uh, they would have used it quite often. And, I mean, it would have probably been fixed sooner or the meta of the Jade Dragon would have been sooner. So this particular ability was broken even two or three months ago. And yes, it was broken two or three months ago. The HP or attack value wasn't like incredibly high as it is now. However, it was still enough to heal about 10-15% HP a pop which is like every one second or less. There are nuances, of course, nuances where the dragon will not cast an ability and that ability will not heal. And I think the, um, what's it called? I'm, I'm, for, for, we're, not, we're just going to check that item in, in a second. But basically this tranquility procs just like swell. So if you cast Aura Blast, uh, Aura Blast procs swell. And, of course, Aura Blast can also proc this ability. So if you have proper stuff, your dragon will always be casting this literally every single Aura Blast. And the probably equipment in question is this particular orb, the Heart of Darkness. So if your dragon attacks this Gladiator, potentially you can stop it from casting abilities for 4 seconds or so. Because the only fight I have with the Jade Dragon right now, and the Jade Dragon is only very rarely healing. Um, and that dragon uh, doesn't even cast Aura Blast. And, and he has Aura Blast and all the other stuff uh, in there as well. So he has the Tranquility. He has the Arcane Blessing. He has the Blessed Aura. All that kind of stuff. Uh, however, um, his dragon is basic attacking quite a lot. And, and I think a couple of my gladiators even have that disarm trinket. So I cannot really use, um, how can I put it, a very valid example in terms of my own replay. But I've checked plenty of replays uh, outside of my own. And pretty much that is what's happening. Like if you place this dragon with tranquility... In your burst side, the heroes just get healed by from 10 to like 50% in some cases. And of course, if you have dragon skins, it, like the, these values just go freaking crazy bonkers. Like if you have 8 skins, right? 8 skins, that's 80% true stats. So this dragon with 8 skins would literally have like 8 like million attack, 9 million attack. And like friggin, I don't know, like 500 million HP or so. So the HP proccing would actually be a lot higher as well. So tranquility is broken, not the dragon itself. So you do require that ability to be on the dragon. Now, uh, the thing about the exalted ability... So, uh, this ability says um, healing nearby friendly units. That means heroes as well, let me remind you. Because if it didn't say units, it said tr if it would say troops, then it would mean only army. Units means it's heroes as well, so you got to remember that. So, if we check the scales, this says chance to heal nearby friendly humanoid and magical units. Meaning it's only army, I think or some specific heroes perhaps, or whatever, but if it specifies a, a race, it's likely only the army. So if we go into the Awaken ability, what we're gonna see is when attacked, there is a 15% chance that uh, it will heal nearby allies, meaning heroes as well. I mean, it specifies here that it doesn't heal undead and, and whatever, and then HP at the very end. However, they specified it very clearly on the Awaken that it heals nearby allies, which includes heroes as well. So, two abilities on the Jade Dragon can actually be broken. So, it wasn't that I was wrong, uh, or say the person commenting on my previous video was wrong. 
both of us were right, but we had different information from, say, different aspects of the game. So, I mean, it, it, if people, you know, talk without sarcasm or trying to belittle someone, I mean, they're going to get better answers from people or even, you know, YouTubers as well. So if, if you're going to like comment like that, you're going to get the exact same treatment back. I, I'm, I mean, I'm just a guy, you know. So yeah, that is, I suppose, pretty much it. What I assume is the scaling of HP attack has some sort of effect on the healing. The healing is just crazy bonkers, insane in terms of the values that it's providing. And it could be nerfed in the very near future if people start using it or reporting it to the VIP support. So... Um, personally, I mean, you could just try it out and use it. If you don't like it, if you face it, you can also report it. Now, the thing is, again, I gotta stress out um, the people, the dragons, etc. that I faced before. So, uh, there is this person in particular. He is higher in DT rank than me. He even did some fights. And again, uh, before I flawless this guy, he didn't, I don't think that he wailed a lot, but from flawlessing a guy to uh, him just getting not even a lot of breakthroughs on his dragon, let's go back to the same dragon. Like he doesn't have a lot of awakening on his jade dragon, right? He has arcane. He has Swell, he has Tranquility, he has Aura Blast. Literally every single ability I mentioned that could potentially make this healing broken. And he, he doesn't even have a ton of HP buffs or uh, Affliction or whatever, right? He just has a Jade Dragon with a broken, like, whatever healing ability which heals heroes for a crap ton amount of HP. And if his heroes are not dying, and the enemy doesn't have this particular dragon, you're slowly gonna kill heroes, and if you don't stall out a fight, you're of course gonna win the fight. Um, or rather, if you don't stall the fight uh, of the enemy not beating you if it's a lot higher core, and you end up beating his heroes and army, you're of course gonna win, or you're like 90% likely to have a draw. So that is what's kind of happening, you know. I mean, depends if I'm going to get that dragon or not uh, pretty soon and whether I'm not going to use it. Depends on my luck in Lucky Wheel. Depends on my luck on some Divine Eggs. But I'm going to try it out and see whether or not it's the exact same thing as others and whether or not uh, that's how those people started to flame others just because, you know, abusing... A potential bug in game as well, similarly like Zen's talkers. There were some people who used them. They said people need to get good and learn to play. And in the end, they were just abusing a bug in the system, which could perhaps even be with the Jade Dragon. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to uh, further up my comments in terms of Jade Dragon, like fully explain the matter, the situation, and what's broken or bugged in terms of it. Sorry, no matches. Sorry, no replays. The only replay I did was, I mean, the dragon was basic attacking for half of the time. So it's pretty much hard to show that if the dragon isn't constantly proccing the heal. But you can check replays in Dual Tower and see that for yourself. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. As well as if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. And in return, I would be able to help you out more individually in terms of events, PvP, formations, and stuff like that. As well as I would like to thank all of my patrons for the support. I really, really appreciate it for your subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.